Hi, young fella. What's the crack? I'm here to talk to you about everyone's favourite local country singer, superstar Dan Bryan. Yes. So Dan got a very worrying phone call from his accountant. <laughs> Dan's been on the road a long time, and his accountant rang saying, before the end of the month, you need to get your affairs in order. So here they are, Dan Bryan's top five affairs <laughs> in order. At number five, time he rode Mary Barry. <laughs> he was in the back of the band van. Every way he moved, he was hitting instruments. It was like throwing the chieftains down the stairs. <laughs> Just she gave him some doing. And he was parked right up against the hotel door. We could all hear him inside. Pity he was playing a funeral. <laughs> I can never look at that tambourine the same way. Poor Patsy Wade got an ulcer from the tin whistle. <laughs> I don't even want to know. I don't even want to fucking know. At number four, in Dan Bryan's affairs, Frank Ryan's wife. <laughs> <laughs> See, Frank was refereeing at the time, and people would always say, Jiz, he rides Kill Bryan. Well, <laughs> <laughs> there's no amount of red cards going to make up for having to sell your house. <laughs> <laughs> Dan put the charm on Frank's wife And like scones to granny She couldn't resist <laughs> As the Dan Bryan song goes I can't stop writing you And your husband stops writing Kill Bryan <laughs> <laughs> And now it all makes sense It all makes sense And it went on for months too oh, Dan is a good club man Yeah That's why he did it Like he said to me himself She's not even great But it was for the club It's oh, incredible And he's a club man <laughs> He did it for the club <laughs> At number three, Maureen the Machine. Ooh. <laughs> not Ooh. me. Ooh, not you, no. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get you yet. <laughs> you won't even see it coming. <laughs> when he puts the charm on people. Maureen the Machine. He said, out of all his affairs, best for making love, but wicked hassle. She kept ringing him. Can you imagine? And then, then, she'd turn up to gigs, right? Now, she'd turn up to the shows, they were up on the gig rig, right? And if security saw a woman storming the stage, they would just assume it's another woman who wants to write Dan Bryan. <laughs> and they'd normally say like, whoa, whoa, wait till the guitar solo, will you? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> handy, handy, right, you know? Because Maureen was going to murder him. Yeah. And Dan gave her that famous trucker charm by him. She was on him like custard and jelly. <laughs> he was back in time for wagon wheel. <laughs> Jay, she cracking up with her knees, that one. She was big into the keep fit. All oh, right, keep fit. To the keep fit. She was big into the keep fit. Right. Maureen. Ash number two. Donny Galdeirdra. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Stand by your Dan. <laughs> do, do, do. She was a bit of a super fan. Right. She brought roast beef sandwiches to all the shows. Dan is a chump for roast beef. <laughs> he's a fool for roast beef, is Dan. Huh? <laughs> Can't resist. Oh, he's a fool. Man, he's a solid fool for roast beef. They used to do it while she'd be buttering the bread, so she <laughs> told me. <laughs> the sign of roast beef dam sandwiches would get Dan going. Damages, we used to call him. <laughs> <laughs> Damages. But the boys in the band were delighted, obviously, with the sandwiches. Yeah. They said when they broke up, they had to go back to the fucking chipper. Anyway. <laughs> Number one in Dan Bryan's affairs. The foreign one from the hotel. <laughs> she was beautiful in a crass kind of way. She was like fancying your teacher, you know. If your teacher was a nun. Well, my teacher was a nun, but I was none the wiser. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was some mover. She said one day she was learning pole dancing. I said, I never knew the Polish danced. <laughs> I thought it was all vodka and tracksuits. <laughs> I suppose you learn something new every day. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 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 <laughs> so, her fella. Vodka <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know pole dancing was the Polish. Anyway. 
I felt like him in one day. <laughs> and I, he knew something was up. He knew something was up. So he stood up and he kind of sized up between me and Dan. And he says, I know Krav Maga. And I said, yeah, I know the Krav Maga. <laughs> 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 they call him the crab because he comes into the pub sideways. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be sliding along the back wall of the hill bar. Same fella. And he went he went to throw some sort of a back kick at me. <laughs> <laughs> some sort of similar to a, a fucking sideway kick, right? I said, you know fucking Pat McGrath won the Nobel Peace Prize for headbutts. <laughs> Jeez, I hit him an uppercut. Yeah. From the side <laughs> I hit him one one good belt right? I hit him one good belt And when he got up He was a foot smaller <laughs> That's a fact That's a fact Just I bet him But that's Dan for you <laughs> He's been married three times Dan Bryan Yeah As he says himself The second wife was a bit of a nut banger <coughs> A bit of a noggin box for that one She was wild they got married of a Tuesday and they were separated by the end of the speeches. Jeez. As he says, says himself, it was a bit of a midwife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> He'd want to pack it in now. Yeah. Arch is wrong. What he's at, it's terrible. You yeah. can't be doing that. Yeah, yeah. He's more particular about where he parks the fucking van of gear than his flute. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know why any of this is his accountant's business to be honest but <laughs> <laughs> here's Dan Brain's affairs in order for you <laughs> thanks Noah over and out